The Subaru Outback has long been a quirky choice for a vehicle. Here's the station wagon built on the legacy sedan that has higher ground clearance and all-wheel drive capability. Whatever the classification of this vehicle may be, it's gained many loyal buyers over the years because of its odd nature. But let's go ahead and take a look at this third generation Subaru Outback LL Bean Edition. Now our Outback is a 2006 model and like I said it's the LL Bean edition. Now there weren't any major changes in the 2006 model year for the vehicle since it received a pretty big redesign in 2005. However, a navigation system was added to the options list for 06. Now this generation Outback is the third generation and it lasted from 2005 until 2009. Now, when you look at this vehicle on the road, you won't mistake it for something else, and Outbacks have always had unique styling, and almost all of the generations look quite similar to each other, probably just the first generation and the current generation, they look a little bit different, but they all do look quite similar. And you can really tell it's an Outback from its station wagon-like styling, and it's high ground clearance. Now here goes the key fob design for the vehicle. You have your remote keyless entry, your unlock, your lock to release your trunk, and then your panic button is on the back. Has a beige exterior color with a full on beige leather interior. And then you have your LL Bean Edition logo on the seats. Power driver's seat with your power recline. All right, now stepping on inside of the Outback here, the step-in height is fairly low, even though this vehicle has a higher ground clearance than the average station wagon. But as you can see, the interior is pretty luxurious. We have the nice leather trim with our LL Bean Edition. And you get some of this wood interior trim that runs throughout the whole entire vehicle. Certainly gives it much more contrast inside of here. But overall, I think the design of this interior has held up pretty well within the past 10 years. It still looks pretty good in 2016, I have to say. And what you're hearing there is a three liter six cylinder engine. You have a leather wrapped steering wheel with wood grain on the top portion right here. Coming to your transmission, we have a five speed automatic. We also do have manual shift ability too. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the lights and the hazards. Automatic driver's side window. Let's go ahead and pop up the hood and check out the engine bay. Heated exterior mirrors with LED turn signal indicators. Seventeen inch alloy wheels here. Now one of the main reasons why the Outback has gained so many loyal owners over the years is because of its standard all-wheel drive capability. Coming up front you have halogen projector beam headlights and you, your fog lights down below which are also halogen. Now our LL Bean Edition has the upgraded 3 liter 6 cylinder engine, they call it the H6, and it produces 250 horsepower at 6600 RPM and 219 pound feet of torque at 4200 RPM with EPA estimates being 17 in the city and 24 on the highway. Overall, 
this six cylinder engine certainly gets the Outback up and going. On the top, you also have roof rails. Rear window wiper with the rear window defroster and an LED third brake light. And your trailer tow hitch is located down below. Of course, all of your basic powered features, power windows, power door locks, your power mirrors are located right here. Chrome interior door handles. Now coming to the stairwell, I really do love the three spoke design here. And just like with the whole rest of the interior, the stairwell has aged pretty well within the past 10 years, I have to say. Coming over here, we have your stairwell mounted audio controls. This is how you change the different modes from AM and FM and the CD player. And then right over here, you have your volume controls. Right here is also your cruise control. Up here, we have your auto dimming rear view mirror with your garage home link and an integrated compass. Map lights. And you have a very large sunroof. It's almost panoramic size. Here you have a little storage compartment. Here's where you, is where you will find your uh, 12 volt power outlet. Then you have a little coin box. Heated seats for the driver and the front passenger. Dual cup holders. Parking brake. And your center console. Then you will find a 12 volt power outlet down there. Decent amount of center console storage. Coming to the AC controls, we do have dual zone automatic climate control here. You have your temperatures with the dials, and then you have your fan speeds right here, and your different zones. And it shows you what temperature you're at right here and what zone you're in as well. It's pretty easy to figure out. And then right here we have your AM, FM CD player with a six disc CD changer. Haven't seen that in a while in a vehicle. And then you also do have your presets, your tune and track, and then your seek and scan. And then this is where you can go to your different sources like your CD player and your AM and your FM. Right here also shows you your exterior temperature readout as well as your digital clock. Coming to the gauges in the instrument cluster, we have full instrumentation for the gauges, but don't expect to find anything like a little LCD screen. This is 2006 here. But on the left, you have your coolant temperature, your tachometer, your speedometer, and then your fuel gauge. Right here is where you'll also find some of your driver information, such as your MPG and your average MPG, and then your fuel range, as well as your exterior temperature readout, all that good stuff. As far as visibility goes in the Outback, visibility is okay. Seeing out of the front windows is pretty easy. There's lots of glass area. The A pillars are also pretty thin. Seeing out of the windshield is pretty easy. However, when you get to rearward visibility, it is a little hard to see out of this vehicle. And this vehicle is pretty long, I have to say. A rear view camera would help, certainly. The seats in the Outback are pretty firm, and I'm not sure if I would take a long road trip in this vehicle, but my biggest complaint with these seats is their lack of thigh support. There's not a whole lot of thigh support here, as you can see. But the seats are pretty firm, but they do have pretty good side bolstering. Now, one of the main reasons why people will choose an Outback is because of its wagon-like design. And with so many crossovers and SUVs out on the road today, some people just want to go back to the old station wagon. And not to mention it also has pretty good all-wheel drive capabilities, which is another reason why people choose this vehicle. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and shut down the Outback. Let's go ahead and check out the rest of the vehicle. 
Now one key area where this generation Outback falls short is in rear seat legroom. There's just not a whole lot of it here. This may be a tight fit for some taller adults. But back here, build quality and materials do follow through in the rear. And you have nice soft touch materials on the mid door panel, upper door panel on the armrest. You have a single map pocket and dual cup holders, as you can see. And you have rear adjustable headrests and a rear center armrest. All right. Now to fold down these rear seats, they do fold down 60-40 split. You just have to push down on this button right here and it will come right down. Easy as that. Cargo space is pretty good in the Outback here, especially when the rear seats are folded down. Passenger seat with power recline, glove box compartment. So the 2006 Subaru Outback was an excellent choice for an all-weather capable family vehicle. With its great all-wheel drive capabilities, its generous cargo space, luxurious interior design, and its great power from its six-cylinder engine. So remember that this is Cameron Birch from Cameron's Car Reviews.